we like to think of it as sort of a melting pot of all the different divisions and all the different engineering di disciplines and then they can all get together and share their intellect and we do this in a myriad of different ways we have the annual conference which is our largest offering and also does uh, published papers and then we have a series of smaller meetings that are done by discipline so engineering deans institute and public policy and engineering research council we do an international forum which we've started for the first time last year and was uh, received good reviews so we're going to try it again this year we do a k-12 through workshop we focus on emerging STEM educators uh, and we serve the members by allowing them to serve others. So we work on things like instituting things like the Division Mixer, which was brand new this year. And so I just felt that from the feedback that I got from the members that give us an opportunity to just learn about ourselves as a community, as an ASE community, and what can the different disciplines offer each other. So that's the specific reason for the uh, division mixer. So things like that, I think are the biggest things that we try to keep a hold of, try to keep the process as small on a large scale as we can. Places that are either very appealing to go to like a Vancouver or Hawaii, or places that are high concentration of our members like in Indianapolis or a Columbus. Uh, so we work with the cities extensively on the RFP process. Uh, we get it down to the last nut and the last bolt. Uh, we have a long series of requirements that they need to be able to meet in order to bring us business. They typically sweeten the pot with financial incentives so that it's a more economical experience not only for us but also for our members.